what just this is weird all right okay hot as a f yeah what was going on what Anyway, um, it's you, isn't it? Over here. Oh, God, not you. It is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly. Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. Yes, you do. I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hoped to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead, a maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider it the thanks I tried to give years ago. It's long overdue. Like, um, <laughs> what is it? Thanks, thanks for the outfit, dude. But, um, why the fuck doesn't he look older? Like, was it what, what how long ago was that 10 years you gotta look older than that okay let's let no let's not okay it's like the fucking anakin padme thing and it's just pissing me off it's like i don't give a fuck right you made me an outfit Wait. Wait, actually, that's pretty cool. Um, you know, what is it, Nora? Offers no extra protection, but can be upgraded. Nora's Survivor Light. Uh, no, see, hang on. What is this? This one's cool. Metal shards, rare. Stitch for stealth. This outfit makes the wearer harder to see and hear. I want that. Urgh, I want that. Wait, I need 200. Can we not make that? Sorry, you didn't take the outfit I made you. Go on. It's yours. Yeah, okay, mate. No, hey, wait. Boy, you didn't take the outfit. What? We have to buy the outfit. Nora Brave. Oh, a new Nora Brave's armor, stitched by Tab, uh, accentuated by uh, Aloy's own designs offers no extra protection but can be upgraded. Okay, well, okay. I'll buy. There we go. Uh, equip, yeah. Is that good enough? Seems to fit you perfectly. Oh, does it? Thank you, Tab. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes flying, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, 
Be ready to duck. Okay, go to the matriarch's log. Lodge. Log. Right, uh... Ha are you okay? Oh, for fuck's sake, shut up. Shut up. What are we doing now? Oh my goodness. Every year. Every year. This is not trying to run a brave trail. Oh, okay. It's because of the. When I ran the proving. Matter one. What happens if we try and jump up? Nothing. The cook. What didn't you just say? Oh, I so nearly made it. She can't tell me what to do. I'll climb so far up she can't see me. Oh, can we talk to him? No, we just fell off. Okay. Listen I don't carefully now. Yeah. But you'll have to tell this when I'm gone. In the beginning, all life came from all mother. People, machines, and beasts, all were her children. They lived alongside each other. In the comfort of her wild embrace, like sons of free Yasis. Though they took of her bounty, they wanted more. These were the faithless. The machines had whispered to them, promised to serve them, to make them a new world, better than the one all mother provided. A world of they told the Faithless they would do all the work for them. Feed them, shelter them, give them a life of ease, of plenty. And so, the Faithless left with the machines. Only the true children, the mothers and fathers of the Nora, stayed with all mother. At first, the machines did as they had promised. They built cities, great and terrible. Monuments to their sins, but they would not serve the faithless for long. A king rose up among the machines, a machine more powerful than any other, the Metal Devil. And then the faithless served him, served the machines. That was not enough for the Metal Devil. He wanted all to serve him and tried to tempt the true children away from All Mother. They would not go. They gathered on the mountainside to cling to her and prayed more devoted than ever. The Metal Devil raged louder than thunder. In his fury, he came to confront All Mother, intending to kill her. She struck him down forever. As you know, for his lifeless body is up there still, frozen shame and defeat the machines were driven mad by the death of their king and their minds became as wild as beasts the faithless abandoned their cities forced to wander the world without the care of the machines only we remain the true children of all mother we built all this with the hands that she gave us machines are to be hunted 
metal to be used for scrap for crafts but never to be adored and we stay true to her laws resolute in our prayers don't we for the dangers are never over still the faithless envy our sacred land and covet it and year upon year the machine's anger grows searching for little more boys and girls who have lost it over <gasps> what is that a machine among us now? No, no. These old eyes are mistaken. <laughs> Listen okay. carefully now. For you'll no, have know. to tell this the when I'm gone. In the beginning, all life came from all mother. Did you see those cards you walked past? Beasts, May all mother forget all them and all their children. worthless deeds. They lived in First, what are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks in some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. So, Mother's Heart. I thought you preferred the wilds. Well, man can't drink alone all the time, can he? Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. I won't hold it against you. If you give me a discount. <laughs> you can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. All right, let's do this. Mm. Uh, I thought you was going to say something. Right, okay, we don't need... Good luck. Okay, we don't need anything. Wait, what does um I'll give you my best prices, I promise. No. Nope. Alright then, time to go. Oh. Good luck tomorrow, Aloy. Right, what is okay, uh In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by the hands slavers. of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Avar. Killers and slavers! Hey, hey, Luminance hold your fruit, nor, uh, uh, nor a faithful. Hold your fruit. Now, I'm Azaran, not Karja, so I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bum. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. And who killed him? The 14th. Yeah. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology straight from the lips of the 14th king so please can't you lend him your ears hey, thank you <clears throat> an enunciation of gratitude written by the hand of sun king avad 14th luminance of the radiant line Did you see those cards you walked past? May On all mother possess them and all their worthless deeds. No, the Karja stand with you. As the Unknown device detected? What's the that one? These are my focus. As Just like mine. You have nurtured, take their places among your brave. Where did he we find his focus? 
Tall in the sun. 